minutes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you for all your hard work to bring this bill to fruition. Mr. Speaker, now is the time for Congress to re-engage in the development of the nation's water resources and play a bigger role in priori prioritizing projects and activities carried out by the Army Corps of Engineers. Congress cannot continue to abrogate its constitutional responsibility in determining what projects should go forward and will reassert itself in the face of an administration that creates a one-size-fits-all policy with little or no transparency. The conference report of H.R. 3080, the Water Resources Reform and Development Act of 2014, is one of the most policy and reform-focused pieces of legislation related to the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. This is a bipartisan conference report that was developed by working across the aisle to achieve a common goal of investing in America's future. This conference report contains no earmarks, cuts federal red tape, streamlines the project delivery process, and strengthens our water transportation networks to promote, to promote competitiveness, prosperity and economic growth and jobs now and well into the future. This conference report is fiscally responsible, more than fully offsetting new projects authorizations with deauthorizations of old inactive projects. This conference report establishes a path forward for enacting a word of bill every two years without conceding any congressional authority to the executive branch. Just because the study process is costly, complex and long does not necessarily mean it will produce a better project. In fact, a large costly project with so many add-ons that never gets funded is benefit to no one. In what used to be take the Corps three to five years to do a study, it now has become the norm for the Corps to take 10, 12, or even 15 years to complete a study. And it's no wonder it's taking so much time since the Corps has to review in detail many different alternatives. Too often, we allow federal agencies, including the Corps engineers, to literally study projects to death. This conference report accelerates the Corps of Engineers study delivery process by limiting studies to three years and $3 million. In addition, we accelerate the study delivery process by requiring concur concurrent reviews by the district, division, and headquarters levels personnel. Ultimately, the federal taxpayer is on the hook for these studies for the length of time it takes to carry them out. The Corps reviews far too many alternatives and then sends to Congress a project that requests that far exceeds in scope and cost what was initially intended. Too often, non-federal interests and their contributions are forced to sit on the sidelines while our international competitors race past us. This conference report empowers the non-federal interests and ensures projects will be completed faster and cheaper with local support. Too often, resources from the Harbor Maintenance Trust Fund are diverted to activities unrelated to keeping U.S. sports competitive and global marketplace. This conference report creates incentives, incentives to spend the funds for their intended purpose. And one of the most important elements of this legislation ensures the legislative branch engages in the Water Resources Development Act process at least once every Congress. By working together, the conference committee has accomplished what many have said could not be done, produce an authorization bill for the Army Corps engineers without earmarks. In order to get these needed reforms in place and to establish a new process for future authorizations, I urge all members to support the conference report. And I yield back. Gentlemen's time has expired. The gentleman from West